I redesigned the Prime Video home and profile screen sections of the mobile app for fun, incorporating some UX and UI insights about the changes. It's always relevant in these redesigns to mention that we don't know the reasons why things are designed the way they are and why certain decisions were made. It's not always a question of design, but more about business requirements. And if you don't like it, being in this area means you need to be aware that, in many cases, you as a designer need to follow business needs instead of what's best for the user. So be prepared. I started to get some ideas for improvements that could be made. Changing the position of some icons, for example, maybe the profile icon could be in the bottom menu to be more accessible to the user and remove the cast one because it's not an immediate action for users. The space for the logo and tabs could also be arranged to gain space for the rest of the home screen and some improvements can also be made in titles and cards. Then I tap it to open the profile and I almost just saw my watch list. I wasn't expecting that. So let's move to improvements. I've mapped the components, drew them myself and choose some colors so I changed the background to have this nice gradient to add depth to the front components. Next, I change the logo and move the tabs to the right to gain some space with that. This looked like an ad to me and not a card to start a movie. So I added some buttons to give more context to the user and visibility to what actions they can take from here. A button to play the movie and another to add to the watch list. You should always be concerned with informing the user about their possibilities. Next, I tweaked the navigation circles because I didn't understand why only the last ones had two different sizes. Then, the titles. The app is for Prime users, so it's redundant to have the word Prime everywhere in titles. And also, the font size doesn't need to be so big. A few adjustments here and we have more readability and space for the link button. And the titles are clickable. By reducing the title size, we can now show more information on the whole page and improve the viewport breakpoint. In the menu bar, we only add three icons. So moving the profile icon here was better to improve user accessibility and ease of use. It's pretty fast to reach the menu. Now let's move to the profile. If you're expecting to find your settings here, forget it. You see the watch list taking up almost the full screen. I manage the top parts to include profile settings, like changing the avatar, or doesn't like to add those funny avatars. Then your display name, access to subscription management that in this case opens Amazon, and your general settings to go more in-depth into your account. I added another section with some tags around my interests so that the homepage shows things I really want to see. I think it's helpful to have these and avoid seeing movies that doesn't interest me. And then the watch list. 
I keep the watch list here because it's related to my profile and I would like to see what I'm watching and a fast access to it. Another approach could be have its own watch list page, but to keep it simple, I'm just working with the home screen and profile screen. And with just a few tweaks, we added more context and relevant information to the profile page that can be more helpful to us. And now let's check the before and after of the home and profile page. Tell me in the comments what you will do differently. See you in the next video. Have a great day.